Jwitchy Pepper Tree. Today I want to show you how to make these pocket folders for your personal size planner. And I like to use mine to hold cash, receipts, and things like checks that I've written out if I'm going to pay my mortgage or to uh, pay my water bill, then it's all right here. And also coupon. Having pocket folders in your personal size planner is also a great idea if you use like a cash envelope system. So what you can do is if you have a budget of let's say $100 for dining out, then you can put your receipts in the other pocket as you go about your week. And let's say another pocket is for grocery shopping. So you have your budget in here and then all the receipts in the other uh, pocket. It just keeps everything organized and in its own folder, which I really like. I find that it's not as convenient to go through your cash in these pockets right here. And then if you pull out $20 bill, then your receipts or coupons go flying out as well. So I just find that's easier to keep it back here where I put my shopping list, where I have my uh, Visa cards here and where I can just quickly grab my cash, put the receipt away. Everything's all right there. As you can see, the pockets open up this way. But today I want to make it so that the pockets open up this way so the pockets will be on this side instead of on this side. And that way if I'm at the cash register, I can just rest my planner on that little check writing area, open up my folders, know that I have my cash here, know that I have my coupons there. I've missed giving out coupon to the cashier before because it just wasn't in sight. So I forget about it and I make my purchase. And then by the time I come home, I'm like, oh, I forgot to use that coupon. So I was just thinking that if I do it so that the pocket folders are here, I could just open it up, see everything at a glance, know that I won't miss anything. And when the cashier hands me the receipt, I could just put my receipt in and go on my way. So here are some of the supplies that I will be using today. This is an Elmer's corner glue stick. So you can see that it's in the shape of a triangle and it's an extra strength uh, adhesive. I wouldn't recommend using like a regular glue stick with moderate adhesive because that's not gonna hold up. And here I have a bone folder that I will be using just to flatten out the edges. And then for scoring, I'm going to be using this Tim Holtz remnant tool. And I can easily use my bone folder to make the score lines as well. But I find that with this remnant tool, because of its nice ballpoint tip right here, the chances of the cardstock cracking where the crease is, is less likely to happen. So that's the reason why I prefer to use this remnant tool with a ball tip. And then these two scissors are also from Tim Holtz and you really only just need one scissor but I just want to show you both of these in case you're in the market for shopping for scissors. I really like these two scissors. They're really great for multimedia projects. This one has obviously a shorter blade which is better for fussy cutting and this one has a longer blade which is great for cutting through those thick and larger materials. And my husband also likes these because it has a really nice grip. Whereas my other scissors that I use for fussy cutting has a very tiny handle. So I can only fit two fingers through one of the holes and then my thumb through the other one. I love this one, but my husband can't work with it. And then here I have two pieces of scrap paper. It doesn't matter the dimension of it. Just grab whatever scrap paper you have laying around. This is a Martha Stewart scoreboard. This is what I will be using to make my creases for my folder. And then here is a paper trimmer from Cricut and it has an extended arm. So let's get started with cutting our cardstock. I printed these cardstocks. They're eight and a half by 11 and I am going to be cutting them down. But before I cut them down, I'm going to determine which side I will be using as the interior of my folder and which side I'll be using as the exterior side of my folder. And when you're working with designs, if there are some designs that have to stand a certain way, like for example, this one right here, it has a script background. So it has to stand upright like this. You can't turn it on its side or else it look kind of funny. And you obviously don't want to turn it upside down either. So with uh, designer cardstocks where the designs have to stand upright, 
then you don't want to use that side as the exterior because once you fold it over for the pocket, then your design is going to be upside down. Now, if that doesn't bother you, then that's totally fine. But if you don't want your designs to be upside down, then you should use that side of the design as the interior of the folder. I'm going to be cutting it down to seven and a half inches in width. So that's at seven and a half. I'm just going to trim off the excess. And then I'm going to be trimming this down to 10 inches. Okay, for this side, I'm thinking I will be using this as my interior. I'm going to be trimming this at seven and a half. And then for the height, I'm going to trim it down to 10 inches. Okay, now that that's all done, it's time to score our papers. Now with the interior side facing up, you want to start your score at 3.75 inches in width. And that's because the personal size inserts are 3.75 inches in width. And then you're going to want to score at 7 inches as well. And you don't have to do this, but I like to do this. I like to just flip it over and repeat those same score lines. I just find that it folds easily when I score on both sides of the paper. Okay, now I forgot to mention that I'm going to be using this side as the right side of my pocket folder. And then I'm going to be using this as the left side of my pocket folder. So they're going to have to mirror each other. So whereas my folder that is on the right side, I scored at 3.75 and 7, I'm just going to have to mirror that with this sheet. So here I'm going to score it at half an inch. And then this will be 3.75. So I'm going to repeat that on the back side as well, half an inch, and then 3.75. Now we're going to score on the bottom of the sheet to make those pockets. So I'm going to be turning it this way. So my half inch score mark is on the bottom. So I'm going to be scoring this at 6.75 because that is how tall the personal size inserts are. Again, I'm just going to be flipping that. Okay. And then for my right folder, I'm going to take the side that is scored at that 7 inches and I'm going to turn that to the top. And then I'm going to score it at 6.75. And then flip it over. 6.75. So now I'm just going to fold along those lines that I made. And I'm just going to use my phone folder to just flatten those edges and then on the bottom as well. Okay, now that they have the fold lines, if you can see when I fold this, it doesn't want to lay flat and that's because it's a little bit bulky on the center right here. Now to fix that, all we need to do is cut the center into a V that way it will lay flat instead of bulking up at the center and then causing the rest of this to bulk up as well. So to do that, I'm just going to fold my folder in half, flip it upside down, and then just fold the bottom up so that it creates this corner right here. I'm gonna take my scissor and Cut a V right into that. So now you can see that it folds flat, which is what I want. We're going to repeat that process with this one. 
starting right at that corner again and just cutting a V. It doesn't have to be a very wide V. It could just be a narrow V. Now to glue this side down, what I'm going to do is just take my scissor and start at that fold line and cut diagonally upwards. And then here I'm going to cut it diagonally towards the center of the two folds. So here you have this side with the diagonal and this side with the diagonal. And it doesn't matter what angle the diagonal is, just as long as it's a diagonal. Now this is going to be glued down, meaning we are going to take off this excess piece right here. You want to be careful and not cut along this edge because if you do, then the folder is not going to close. It's going to have a slit and it's going to open up. So I'm just going to lay this down. All right, now I'm going to grab my scrap piece of paper and I'm going to lay it underneath this pocket right here. And then I'm going to slip the other scrap piece of paper right underneath the tab. And the reason why I use scrap paper is because it just helps to keep the mess off of the desk surface. So I'm just going to rub this evenly across. Okay. And press it down. And we're going to repeat the same thing with this side. Just going to use my scrap paper again to mask it. And if I don't mask it, it's going to get on the inside of my pocket. And I don't want that to happen because it's going to make my pocket stick to itself and I won't be able to stick anything inside of my pocket. And for this side, you just want to leave a margin on the edge here to be like a quarter of an inch. So again, I'm masking it just so that it doesn't get all over the place. So I'm just getting it on that quarter inch right there. So now it's time to punch these. And I'm going to be using this industrial punch that is created uh, with adjustable little dies here. So you can use it for your A5, your pocket size, and your personal size. I already have it set for my personal size. And so I'm just going to punch the hole after I align it. So just want to make sure this is how it's going to be. I'm going to just center it here. So my camera cut out before I was done punching these, but as you can see, I just punched the pocket folders like this so that they would mirror each other. And this is how they look like. I'm loving this design. It's time to put it in my planner now. So obviously it does not match my planner setup at this moment. Uh, my planner setup currently is the Girl Boss Design Kit of the most recent month and it's called the Sweetest Dream Collection. So you can see I have paper clips here and I took some of the dies and turned them into paper clips as well. I took one of the dies and turned it into a monthly bookmark and then a weekly bookmark. And you can see all the sweet goodness just dripping everywhere. And then just want to show you guys so you guys can see this whole kit came with the divider tabs and the dashboards. And then these are the pocket folders that I will be replacing just to try out this new setup right here. So obviously it's not going to match my whole sweetness theme right here, but I need to test this out to see if I like it any better. To see if this is a better format for me. Oh, and the pocket folders didn't come in the kit. Uh, the cardstock came in the kit and I just turned them into pocket folders. So I don't want you guys thinking that pocket folders came in the kit. She provides a few cardstock so that you could do whatever you want. Okay, um, these are my coupons. They fit in the larger pocket. Checks are slimmer, so they go in the slimmer pocket here. And my receipts 
go in here and my cash can go in the slimmer pocket. So I think I'm going to like this. Just by looking at this, I think I'm going to enjoy the setup a little bit more than, um, than having it open the same way. I like that it mirrors each other. And I like how it just folds and closes so that nothing can fall out. It's secured by this folded edge. So I hope that this tutorial was informative. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Oh, and I will leave links to the supplies in the comment below too, just so that you know where you can easily find them. And if you haven't subscribed yet, I invite you to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.